share. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. It's my channel. Oh, here we go. All right. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? I'm going live. I can kind of hear you a little bit. <laughs> okay. I'm live. All right. Yay. All right. Let me share this. Um, copy this. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we do this, we do this. The, the YouTube live, I'll do it in the, in the bit text too, since you're there. All right. Now I have to go to my. Thank you. All right. Hi, everyone. Okay, I gotta turn. I gotta turn my laptop on. Now. I gotta turn my laptop on so I can. Oh. Sorry, everyone. This is my first time. And I'm having every kind of technical difficulty. Okay, let's see. My laptop where I can see what everyone is saying. I'm so nervous. Please bear with me. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is not a very good camera setup. How is everyone today? Hi, Corey. Hi, Maeve. Hi, Erica, Laura. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Eric. I need that. <laughs> okay. So this was part two of the testing phase for me. I thought I could just jump into it, but of course I cannot. Um, so I'm going to try to make... Yes. Who? No. Um... Oops, my phone is dropping. Okay. okay, sorry about that. So today, I'm going to make a pattern for my vinyl storage, vinyl roll storage. Of course. Okay. I don't know where to begin. I'm going to, oh, it might help if I have some paper, right? I don't know if you can see that very well. So I'm using this Dollar Tree craft paper from Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, can you hear me good? Wait, let me turn off the Discord. How about now, Laura? Is that better? Do I sound glitchy, everyone? 
So, I try to be prepared, but this is as prepared as I am today. So I have to cut out the extra pieces of the, the craft paper so I can start fresh. So I basically have my measurements. And I want to start off with strips like this. And I know you have no idea what I'm going to be making, so I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is my my draft, my rough draft of what I want to make. Something like this. So it looks like a shoe rack. It's big enough for shoes, I guess. And that's because I use these big fat rolls of 651 that come with the thick board, inner boards. So these. So we can see it. Should I start again? Hi, Nancy. Uh oh. All right, let me try turning off the microphone and starting it. I turned the microphone back on. Does that help? Turn it off and on. Maybe it's because I have the camera too close to the table. Maybe. Anyone? Okay, well, you let me know if you can hear me. I hope. Can you hear me? Not sure why it's doing it. Should I try a test, a third test? Uh, still saying, not sure. I can tell what you're saying, though. Okay. All right, so I'm talking loud enough, though. Just glitch. So, I don't know what's going on. Should I try a, a third test? Okay. The vote is in. Should I try a third test? Going once. <laughs> going twice. I'm good. All right. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Corey. All right. So, let's see. All right. So, I cut my vinyl. That was that big roll that I had on the table. This big roll is vinyl, the clear vinyl that I got from Joanne's, and I already cut that down. Mm -hmm. I will show you in a minute what that size is. This I cut to about nine and a half inches by, by nine inches. I hope that's the right size. Oh, actually, this one is already cut. So, yeah, nine. Six right there, right nine. That's wrong. Sorry. Okay, can you tell I'm nervous? I'm all jittery. 
Okay, set it open. Okay, this one is about nine by nine and a half. Yeah, nine by nine and a half. Uh oh. Is my screen glitching now? That's not good. Thank you, Corey. All right, so I cut, I cut 10 pieces of these down from the vinyl. And then I basically use these little scrap pieces of paper to measure how much of these strips, what size of these strips I would need to use to cut to put on here. So I just use it as a scrap piece so I can have an idea of how big I was going to make my my strip that would go around here. So this one was definitely a scrap and this one was more of the pattern size. So I decided because I don't want oh you can't see that very well. Let's see right there. I decided that um, it's not good to have a lot of stitching on your clear vinyl. So you needed some, a little gap between the edge of the vinyl, which I don't know if you can see it there. The edge of the vinyl here and a little gap on the fold of the fabric. So when you get to that part, you're actually stitching on this edge of the fabric and not on the vinyl but you'll see that at another another time so let's put this you don't really need a pattern but i'm just going to show you how to do it to see how to do it so that was my initial sizing my initial sizing for the for my little scraps for my strips, not my scraps. Sorry. Okay. I'm doing this one. Put the straights first. And you can see what I'm doing here. Push it down right there. So, I'm just going to cut that straight. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. And then, how much did I say I needed? Okay, I got a few pieces of scrap here that I need for specific things. Okay, so this is going to be the first thing. So this one is, I think this was two and three quarters. It's only three pieces. Okay, so two and three quarters. This one is two inches and this one is three inches. Okay. So let's start with the three inch one. One, two, three. If I can get this line straight, it'll be good. And I know you shouldn't cut this way, but I'm kind of out of space. Uh -oh. Uh, I was cutting into my fabric. Don't do that, people. Don't do that. I forgot I had it on the cutting mats. Okay. Eight. 
pay attention to your work. It's very, very important. All right, so we've got the three inch wide shirt, which will go. Okay, so this gives us three pieces. This is like the first or last part that's going to go on the divine the roll stitch. So this is the three inch part. So this one goes here. And we need it to be how wide? How long? We need it to be nine and a half inches. Okay. It helps if you have the ruler in the right direction. How's everyone doing so far? Am I, am I boring you yet? Okay, so... Another nine and a half. Another. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna write down that this is my four inch strip here. Three inches. Obviously, it's that way. And this one is nine and a half. I don't know if you can see that. And now I have my pattern for that one. And this piece is the one that's going to connect between each of these pieces of line. So this is the, let's call it the bridge. Because I don't know what else to call it. So that's the bridge. And I have... I think I said 10 of these. So this, that three inch strip I just cut is the one that's gonna connect each, each of these strips together. Okay, so now we need the two inch. The two inch strip. So we have to do the two and three quarters. Let's see. Let's measure that one more time. Two and three quarters. Okay. Is everyone okay so far? Did I scare you away yet? Hi, Sandy. I'm scared. I'm nervous. Okay, I said two and three quarters. See, I almost forgot what I was doing here. I got distracted. Okay, I have a straight line. Right there. I said it was over here. So just keep it from sliding around. Scared. How's everyone doing today? Besides me, with my nervous self. Um, this way, one and a half. Um, the not so broke nurse. Hi, 
I don't know your name. I'm sorry. I know I see you all the time in the videos, in the comments, and everyone else's comments, but I don't know your name. What's your name? Hey, Mary. I finally did it. I'm here. I'm joining the live crew. Oh, Corinne. I hope I said that right. Hi, Corinne. Please correct me if, if I said it wrong. Which one is this one? Two and three quarter inches. And this is one and a half. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And this is start and finish. Or top and bottom, whichever one you want to call it. Hi, Liz. How are you? Thank you for coming, everyone. I'm so excited and scared and all the feelings and emotions and... Oh, man. I'm excited everyone is here. I'm surprised. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm just straightening that out now. Oh, I'm working on my vinyl roll storage. Let's see, I already cut the clear vinyl. And this is basically what's going to be covering these pieces of fabric are going to be cut, covering the edges of the vinyl. And right now I'm making a pattern, which I don't need to make a pattern because everything is done here. But I'm just trying to show everyone how to do it if they want to do it, how they can make their own pattern and the size strips that are made. So this is what I'm calling the, this piece right here is what I'm calling the bridge. This is what is the piece that's going to connect all these vinyl pieces together. It's the bridge between the two vinyl pieces, like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then these are just to cover the edges to make it pretty. And, oh! I got these clips because, well, not because, but um, Liz Coffee Powered Home has a link, a, a an affiliate link for the clips. So I was able to get these through her link. So if you want to share, oh, I got to make someone a mod. Liz, would you like to be a mod? Or Mary, or Laura. <laughs> raise your hands, raise your hands. <laughs> well, Liz, you have the, the link. If you can share it with someone, or if you can repost it somewhere, then I don't know. How, I know that I need a mod to be able to link it, and I don't have a mod. And I don't know. Oh, you can put it in the stream yard. I mean, not the stream yard. In the Discord, and I can copy it from there. Unless you want to be a mod. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's see. We have a volunteer. Uh, I have a moderator. Here we go. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> So, Mary, did I answer your question? Did I finish answering your question? I hope I did. <laughs> okay, so now I do two, I need one more strip, one more pattern piece. So, the last one I think is two inches. Two inches. Coming up. <laughs> Hey, Barb. So, oh, I don't know if 
she's here. Um, let's see. So Erica Selman, she has a YouTube channel and she does quilting. So thank you for coming to visit. And if you don't know, Mary has a, a multi-craft YouTube channel. And I think not so, uh, Corinne, you have a YouTube channel too, right? I think. And uh, Coffee Powered Home, AKA Liz, she has a YouTube channel. Who else is on here? Barb has a channel. Uh, she's not here, but I think almost everyone here has a channel. Rain has a channel and a Discord. Oh, oh, you do? Okay, I didn't know that. Thank you, Mary. See, we learn something new every day. Okay, now I need two inches going this way. See, I'm getting distracted. This is this is why I can't even watch YouTube channels, YouTube videos, because I'm so busy in the chat. I want to be more in the chat. This is supposed to be a quick, a quick test and a and a, a pattern cutting video. <laughs> Laura, where's your channel? <laughs> yes. Yes, Liz. 100. Chat versus work. Yes. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning from the best. Hint, hint. <laughs> Liz. Uh oh, okay. I'm playing with garbage. I should not be doing that because I'm trying to look at the look at the uh the chat. Stop being nosy, just do your work. Okay, did I measure this probably? Nine and a half. Okay, I got nine and a half inches. Thought I was gonna have to do that one again. Okay. All right, so this one is two inches this way by nine and a half inches this way. And I don't know what to call this one. This one is the, let's see, we did the bridge. Let's call it the binding because that's what, that's what quilters do, right? They bind the edges. So, hey, Shay, how are you? Shay Shay has a YouTube channel also. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so now we have the pieces cut out so now I can show you okay now I can show you how to bring these pieces to life so initially I was going to make these same size pieces of fabric to go over the well to go behind there so it could be something something like this like a you know opening there and could just hang it in there somehow, but once I started putting it together, 
just made more sense to do what I'm doing right now. So, all right. Uh, these were once upon a time ironed, but, uh, oh, I'm glad you made it too, Shay. <laughs> I'm trying to fight off the babies. Everyone has babies. <laughs> well, I don't have any babies. I've got grown boys now. But everyone, it seems like a lot of the crafting community has little ones. All right. Let's not do that. Uh, let's start with the pattern because that's what we cut the pattern for, right? That's what we made the pattern for. So these are nine and a half inch. Well, they're not squares, but they're pretty close to the square ish side. This is, let's see, where's the corner? Oh, you can make if anyone wants to share their their YouTube channel. Um, Trey Boucher. So she's, I think, the last one that came in. I think that's your channel, right? Trey Boucher, the same name? YouTube channel? Thank you, Sandy. Okay, so this is nine and a half by nine. So we're not worried about that. The nine and a half part is what we need. We need the nine and a half part. And, and everyone's YouTube channels that you know, Sandy, that would be great. So everyone can... Everyone who doesn't know, oh, and, and Aqua Bloom Boutique is Z, you know, aka Z, her, her YouTube channel. I'm glad everyone is mingling in the party back there while I like work my butt off, sweating, scared, nervous, like I'm singing karaoke in front of everyone. Cracking myself up because I think I'm funny, but I'm really not. Corey, I want to thank you for coming by twice, three times. How many times? Oh, this is the second time. Okay. <laughs> the second time. Thank you. And Shay, you too, because I believe you were there for the first first trial. <laughs> My first error. Okay. So, I like using rulers. I don't know. Is Nancy here? Yes, there you go. <laughs> See, Nancy, you don't like using rulers for your rotary cutter. But I have to because I'm very afraid. I have already cut my finger once using my rotary cutter so that's my this is my first strip and this is the two inch and i could just keep doing the two inches but i've already got them cut because you know it's already done i'm just going to show you that one and then the next one is let's do the two and three quarters this is two and let me see that Nope, I'm going to do better that way. I don't even know if this is good lighting. Let's try to get this light better here. Ah, that's better. That looks better anyway. So this one is... Oh, it's this side. I'm showing you the wrong side. This one is two and three quarters by nine and a half. Oh, yeah, Sandy. Shay, you and Shay are both in Canadianville. <laughs> I use a regular or rule for straight lines. <laughs> no worries. I do it like a true glory. Thank you, Corey. So glad to have you over there also. Oh. Thank you, Trey. I was about to call you Trey. See, I keep trying to call you Trey. I don't know why. Okay.
Thank you, Nancy. That's that's because I've, I've, I've learned from you guys. I have learned from watching all of you guys. I appreciate that. Nancy? I think looking at the comments is helping too because it, it uh, helps me think about what I'm going to talk about next. Oh, no. Guess what I did? Did I do that wrong? Wait, it says two and three quarters. So why is one side bigger than the other side? Or am I am I losing my mind here? Oh no, that's my mind. I'm losing my mind. Okay. I don't know about being a pro Z, but thank you for your help. So Z helped me with the stream yard, and I appreciate her very much for that. I'm so, so nervous about it. I thought 20 minutes was enough to figure out how to start the live, and then I still went in like half an hour into 6, after 6 o'clock, and I was so wrong. So messed up. Okay, so here's my second strip. Here's my first strip. Okay, now we're going to do the third one. Okay, this one is three inches. This is the bridge. Wow. I didn't have a name for these until I started cutting them out. That's so funny. Okay. Let's see. So this is supposed to be three inches. So make sure I got a three inch line. Going straight. Okay. Okay, Nancy. <clears throat> I'll see you when you get back. All right, here's the three inch strip. All right, now that I've cut the pieces, you know, through the magic of YouTube. Oh, wait, I can't show you the magic of YouTube yet. <laughs> can't show you the magic of YouTube yet. See, I messed up my own, my own little magic show. That's so messed up. Okay, let me go into the chat because now I gotta see what's going on here. I have missed a whole lot of whole lot of all the conversation because I thought I was doing something here. Okay, I saw that. No, that was good. And Congrats. Oh, Mary, thank you. You said congrats. That was a long time ago, but I'm saying thank you now. Liz, you have a new channel? Wait a minute. Did I miss something? Or is it just your new videos? Sandy, did you change? Oh. Honey. I have one for you. Uh, what are you making? I told you. Okay. Hey, friends. Hey, Lefty. <laughs> Thank you. Come in. Oh, cool. Nice. Come in. Hello. I do. Uh, I can come out too if you need more. Oh, Liz, you volunteered? I can't believe it. Okay. If you really want to, I will add you. I appreciate it. The blue branches are coming out. Hi, everyone. I think I said hi, Barb. Did I say hi to Barb? To you, Barb? We are need more. Wait, Sandy, what do I need more of? <laughs> oh, more wrenches. <laughs> Hey, Sandy. Hey, Barb. 
Hey, Mary. Wait, Sierra's here? Where's Sierra? Did I miss something? I didn't see Sierra here. Corey, Sandy. Okay, now I'm getting sidetracked because I'm like trying to go back to the messages, to the comments I mean. Um, I saw this. Okay, Lord does have a channel. I saw that. The struggle. I'm going to cut some more fuzzy cut. Cat coasters so I can put them. Oh, nice, Mary. You're going to sell them on your Etsy shop? Babies. Hey, Z. I think I forgot to say hey to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Let me, let me try that. Okay, thank you for sharing videos. I mean, links, Sandy. I'm sorry. I don't see. I'm nervous. Thank you guys for sharing with each other's uh, channels and subbing to each other's channels. I'm using a window. Man, you guys type fast. I'm so sorry. I got you hanging. I'm, okay, I'm going to get back to it. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I don't want... Z, you want to be a mod? Oh, Liz, what you making? That's the same. I'm distracted when I'm back. See, maybe I should show my face so you guys can see me instead of just, you know. Okay. Let me do this and then if we want, we can chat afterwards. Okay. Um, hi, Robin. <laughs> Super Mario Power Up Animation. <laughs> oh, just shared a new channel. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I gotta go check it out. See Liz reaction on second channel. Yay! Yes. I love it. Okay. I think I'm caught up on the. <laughs> On the on the chat now. Okay, all right. Let me focus now. <laughs> all right. So this one, I messed up on when I was trying to sew it together because no, I didn't mess up. The sewing machine messed up, and I don't know if you can see the little the little holes there. The thread kept breaking, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing for the sewing machine. I mean, I'm not the sewing machine for the vinyl. Because if you keep adding holes to it, it's just going to break. It's like perforated paper. It's going to be like notebook paper. It'll break. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Don't make me any more nervous than I am, please. <laughs> okay. All right. So, see, you threw me off. I shouldn't have read that. <laughs> um. All right. So for this side, okay, let me think about this for a second. So usually when we sew, we want the pretty side to the pretty side. So like this side would normally go this way, right? But because this is not an outfit, this is a, a storage roll thingy mabob. It's a whatever you want to call it. <laughs> It could be a shoe rack, it could be purple, it could be green. No, I'm sorry, we're not singing the TikTok song. We are we are making a vinyl roll storage. 
And I say it could be a shoe rack because I don't know if you missed it at the beginning. These are like the big fat rolls that I use from, uh, these are from U.S. Cutter. They are the 651 rolls. Four minutes. And so, okay. Let me get back to the topic. All right. So they do not go pretty face to pretty face. They go... The three inch one, this is the three inch one, I believe. This is the three inch one goes pretty face down first. And then you put the vinyl on top of it. And you want to have them uh, on the nine and a half inch side right here. So, uh, now this one, so you put the vinyl down, nine and a half inch, going this way, and then you put the two inch strip on top of that. So you're sandwiching the sandwiching, sandwiching, okay, <laughs> sandwiching the clear vinyl between the two pieces of fabrics, and don't forget, they do not go face, pretty face together. They go both facing down. Both pretty faces going down. And then we're going to take these pretty clips. And we're going to clip them together. All, all layers. All the layers. And see, this is the tricky part. Because everything wants to move around because it's on the vinyl. And it took me what I thought was quick. And at the same time, slow. Okay, so you do that. Hi, Tim Peepers. How is everyone? Have I left you in La La Land? Everyone is just so commingling. You saw the picture? Oh, thank you, Z. Wait, I posted it in the in the Discord, right? Okay, Liz. What's a chicken mole? What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted by the chat and I'm trying to sorry that Oh thank you, Z. <laughs> Don't make me nervous. <laughs> All right, all right, let me focus, let me focus, okay. So I drew this line here, all right. So this is a half inch, I believe that's a half inch line I drew here. Yes, that's a half inch line. That line is the stitch line. So you wanna go inside that line because you know when you use your ruler, you draw the line on the outside, so you stitch on the inside. Because we're trying to give it space to fold over. And then you have a half inch from here to here. But from here to here, or the middle line, if you fold this in half, this is an inch and a half here. This is three quarters of an inch from the line to the fold. So this is the part I was talking about. This is the, the tricky part. All right, so I'm going to... Flip this over this way, and then we're going to flip this over this way because I need it to fold over that way, and it's going to be on that fold there. And then when you flip it over, then I have to carefully take this off because I don't want it to move. See. <sighs> It's kind of hard to explain because it's not sewn in. And once I take this clip off, it's going to move because that's what happens with this kind of fabric. It's going to move. All right, I'm going to try to keep it there. But let me draw this line so you can see what I'm talking about. Where is my finger bottle? All right, I'm going this way. So you can see, 
So this is an inch and a half. And that blue line was supposed to be an inch and a half, but because the clips are on there, it's not really. Okay, there it is. No problem, Sandy. Um, Z, do you mind being a mod? Or Mary? One of you raise your hands if you'd like to volunteer. Who, who would like a lynch? Going once, going twice. We've got the uh, live auction for the mods. Anyway. Okay, well, in the meantime. All right, so I'm going to go three quarters of an inch from the edge of the two inch, <clears throat> the other edge of this two inch. Wait, I have a pen. <laughs> Marker marking. Where's that marker marking thing? Yeah. Okay, I don't see it now. Don't, don't find it right now. Don't find it right now. Let's get out. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a little difficult with this pen, it's like a crayon, it's not sharp, oh, it's not doing too bad though, okay, so let's just go with that. I'll look for the marker later. All right. So this is supposed to be, wait a minute, that doesn't seem right. That is not right. See? It should be where this is at. This is at. Oh, I see what happened. See, because this thing is so fat, it doesn't go in in the fold where it's supposed to be. But that is where it's supposed to be. All right. All right, so now that should be three quarters of an inch there, and then another three quarters of an inch there. That's what it should be. Okay, that's off, but anyway, whatever. The point is, this gets folded over. It's not exactly three quarters, but whatever. It gets folded over on that line. And you like finger press it, or you can iron it. But I think finger pressing is good enough. Because you can't iron on vinyl. So once this is sewn, this is going to flip over that way. And let's just finger press this for now. And it's not going to be a perfect straight line, but we're going to do our best. Oh, hi, Rosalind. I haven't seen you before. Thank you for coming. I am making a vinyl roll storage. Uh, a hanging vinyl roll storage that will look like a shoe rack. Oh, there's a little picture so I can show it. Okay, this is my this is my rough draft of what I'm making. And it looks like a shoe rack. Yes. And the reason for that, I'll show you one more one more time is because I use these fat vinyl rolls of, or not that I use them, I do use them, but I have them, <laughs> is the point. I have these fat vinyl rolls, and I don't want to just keep them separately. I'd rather have them all together. It's easier to keep everything together, and plus, 
And plus, um, I'll be able to throw in my Cricut vinyl rolls or Caesar vinyl rolls, whatever other vinyl rolls I have that come in the smaller rolls in there without having to waste too much time tightening up the rolls. So, okay. Um, Z, I added you as a wrench. Thank you. Um, all right, so I folded it over this way. I finger pressed, I folded it over at the three quarter inch mark over here. So now when I actually bring it over on this side, it's kind of like lining up with the half inch, but it has all this space. So now you see, I hope you can see. Can you see this little gap here? Let's see. Okay. Try to keep it on the line. See that little gap where the blue, the top blue line and the, oh, the bottom blue line is? Hey, Beth. <clears throat> Thanks for stopping by. Um, so that little gap between the fold and the edge of the vinyl and this fabric or this part of the fabric is going to be the part where it's going to be sewn on to keep the two pieces together on this side. And then once, once, um, Actually, this doesn't get sewn yet, but it gets folded over on this side. And that's so that it doesn't touch. It gets folded over and now it gets hidden inside this piece of fabric, inside the bridge, what, we, what I am calling the bridge. So now this gets tucked in, in here and then we're gonna sew in here. And this is, let me see. This is the edge of my vinyl. I can't feel it right now. This is the edge of my vinyl right here. And then this is, I wish I had a different color. This is a scrap piece of fabric. I will cut another piece, no problem. This is not working for me. All right. So this is where the vinyl ends right here. And then this is where the piece of fabric and folds over right there. And then we fold this over and then it's gonna be stitched in between that line. Thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. So it's gonna get folded. I mean, it's gonna be sewn in between where the vinyl ends here and the fabric folds there, and it's gonna be sewn onto the bridge. And so the other piece of vinyl that's gonna be added on this side is gonna also have one of these, which is, what did I call it? That's the bridge, the binding. We're gonna have the binding on that side, and then it's gonna continue between the binding, the bridge, the binding, vinyl, all the way to the end, and then so the end, let me just clip this together like that. So the end piece, see now, all right, so this part is the part that we see. And then this part, we will start it from, I forgot how I did it. I forgot how it had it. Okay. Well, since we started that binding on that side, let's do this binding on this side. All right, so we're gonna, this is the, this is the first, the, the beginning and end, the start and finish. This one is two and three quarters of an inch by nine and a half inches. Hi, Nairo. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you made it. 
I don't think you would be able to make it. Okay. Um, all right, so we are going to move this so we can see it in the camera first, right? And then we're going to pin it. And I like the half an inch seam allowance. I don't know why, but I do. And when you sew this, you're going to, when you sew on the vinyl, you definitely want a longer stitch length than the average st stitch length that you would use for clothing or any other item. Oh, I'm so glad you did too. Thank you. Did I miss anyone? I hope I didn't miss anyone. If I did, you can raise your hand. I'll say hi to you. All right, so we've got the half an inch here. And then this one, I forgot why I did it this way. I really do. Oh, I remember why. Because this is the ending. And I didn't want to show any raw edges. Even if you like flip it over on this side, I didn't want to. You won't see it, see it, but you will see it. So I think what I was doing, actually, no. This one, okay, this one does not get sewn on first. It doesn't get that first half inch seam allowance. I don't think so. This one is actually like, you fold everything together nicely. You make sure you leave that little edge. I don't even know how much that measurement is, but this is the, the end of the vinyl once again. Wait, let me find the end. It's around there. That's about the end of the, the vinyl. And let me just, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Can you see what I'm doing? Is it close enough? What is this? Huh. My marker. Yeah. Okay. So this is the end of the vinyl right here. And then this marking is the end of the fabric fold. And then once again, Okay, so we're just folding it over. We're not sewing it before you do the fold. You fold it over first. The first fold should have the half an inch. So each side, let me show you again. Each side, each side should have a half an inch on each side. And then you have this gap here in between. So this gap is the fold on where you're gonna stitch at, but on this side. So let me pin it back on so you can see. Welcome back, Liz. So we're going here to like the half inch mark. And I'm just gonna clip it on there. And I don't know if you can see the little gap in there like a little gap between the fold, like the fold line here and the edge of the vinyl that's in there. Okay, and then on this side, do the same thing. Go to the little half inch seam allowance mark. And we're gonna clip that. And you can see the little gap. Oh, so I gotta get better. See the little gap. <clears throat> and then, okay, so it's folded over. Now, now is a good time to have all these clips, clipping clips, clippity clips on there. So make sure it doesn't move around. Make sure it stays the same distance. And you wanna feel around to make sure that this little gap here is. This little gap is even because you're going to need that little gap in a few minutes. So we're going to sew 
sew this all together here, like a top stitch on the edge. So there's no sewing on the inside of this part. This is just sewing right here on the edge. Like that, all the way across. And you definitely want to back stitch. And you want the longer stitches. And the thicker the the amount of fabric you have and vinyl, the longer the stitch length should be so that it doesn't perforate through the vinyl. So then when it's all sewn together, this will be your beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning and the end. And then the ones in the middle, in between each other, look like this. So now, now I can show you the YouTube magic. So this is what it would look like, which of course I didn't clip it properly, but I haven't sewn it yet, so that'll be part two. But let me move the camera. Hi, everyone. Okay, I'm looking at the chat. Let's see. Did I miss a lot of the chat? I'm sorry. Oops. Um. <laughs> Laura, you've been added. Okay. How do I flip the camera? I don't know how to flip the camera. Okay, I guess I won't flip the camera. I will flip the phone. So now I have to look at my screen because I don't know what I, I can't see what you see on my phone. Excuse the noise. Okay. All right. So here we go. So these are all the pieces. I wish I could see it in real time. Oh, wait a minute. I can see it from here. All right. Oops. Here we go. So these are all the pieces. All put together. All ready to be sewn. And yep, this is where all my clips went because it's empty now. It's it's goner. It's goner. Well, all right, everyone. I don't know if you want to hang around and chat. Have any questions? I can I can shitty chat with you guys now that I'm done showing you my my part one. This I can see and I can chat. Okay, everyone. I'm done with part one. How's everyone doing? How uh, how did I do? Back. Yes. Uh, I think. Okay. No one wants to talk to me anymore. You're all chatting amongst each other. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, so Corey, I know you um also follow Trey. Have you followed any of these other YouTubers too? I mean, obviously not. Not me until today, but um, 
see. Let's see why. And the, the channel eventually. <laughs> yes, that, that is true. Every one of these ladies are so encouraging. That is why I'm here now, because they have all brainwashed me into believing I need a YouTube channel. I'm kidding. They brainwashed me into wanting to go live. <laughs> oh, thank you, Corey. Well, I have to finish this one before I can add another project to do. But I have plenty of projects on my list. Oh, my goodness sake. Um, <laughs> I have officially popped my cherry. <laughs> Oh, man. Thank you, Mary. I sure did. I took a huge step. I'm so... <sighs> I'm still nervous. I'm still kind of shaky, shaky. But... Yeah, I don't know what I'm to do. Oh, but Corey, I was asking if you followed them before today. I don't know. Have you watched these? their videos before or did you just find them today oh thank you Nairo <laughs> Sandy yes you're getting sleepy join the live <laughs> don't run don't run Sandy don't run <laughs> Beth, I know you're, you'll be here soon. You'll be here soon. I can feel my face red, like, like I'm blushing, but I'm scared. I don't know what is this feeling. <laughs> yes, do it, Sandy. Do it, Sandy. Do it, Beth. Okay, Corey. Cool. I'm glad you came to visit. I'm glad you found you some new some new YouTube content to watch. I'm glad we were able to entertain you too. I know my video wasn't that entertaining, but I hope I hope the chat kept you all entertained. Okay, there is definitely a lag that I just found out about. I did not know about this before. <laughs> peer pressure, peer pressure. Do it, do it, do it. Yes, Sandy, I have not even seen you on video chat. Oh, you haven't seen Sandy, Beth? How long do you think the project will take you? It's already taking me too long just to clip all these things together. Um, I should have been done like two weeks ago, but I was working on some eggs. Oh, where did I put the eggs? I can't get to them right now. Let me see if I can get to them. I'll be right back. I was working on some eggs for a couple of weeks. Hmm. And I finally finished. I finally finished all the eggs. This is, this is the original packaging it came in. Um, so if, if, to answer your question, how long do I think it will take me to finish? If the machine works, oh, shish, Bob. 
if the machine does not give me any problems, the sewing machine, and the thread doesn't break like it did when I first started to. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that was over 100, 120x. If the sewing machine doesn't give me any problems and the threads, the thread doesn't break in the machine, then I think I can get it done in a few hours to do the rest of the project. So that, that will be the, the next video. So I don't know when, I guess I can try tomorrow. Any, anyone, any of you going live tomorrow? I have. Must have had a brain fog. <laughs> heck, with my week, heck, my week has been a train wreck and ended it with the harvest. Oh no, Beth, I hope you feel better. It's snowing, Liz. You have to go out, like out and go places. Way to go on finishing this. Thank you, Beth. I'm so excited. So, Actually, the next project was going to be um, making something to hide the eggs because there are like no trees over here. No idea. Lives are way easier than editing. Yes. <laughs> um, you you must have a new go on camera at times. <laughs> That's why I wanted to go live so I don't have to edit because it's taken me forever to edit a 30 minute video. Hope you feel better. So, oh. So I think I should be done in a few, I'm not going to say a couple of hours because I'm a slow sewer. And when I get frustrated, I just throw it and get back to it eventually. <laughs> and, um, yep. Oh, so the next project was supposed to be something to hide the eggs in, but I bought a book. I don't even know where I put the book. It's a, a book of a cardstock book. <clears throat> okay. I don't know where I put the, the book at, but it's a I like the fabric. Oh, thank you. That was some scrap fabric that uh, someone gave my mom. <laughs> but thank you. It's like all in pieces. Oh, and there's another piece I didn't get to show. Okay. So I basically traced a hanger. Oh, yeah, I didn't show that part. So this is going to be hung in the closet. And I traced the hanger. And then I made this pattern. And I was going to make it as a two-piecer, like have the long piece that holds all this vinyl thingy things that I made today. And then I decided after I cut it that that's not good because the weight will stretch the seam allowance. I mean the seams. And I didn't want it to break. So I figured it would be easier. Okay. No problem, Sandy. I don't know if I'll be here either, but try it from another. Oh, yay. Oh, you might go live tomorrow. Okay, good. Morning. Okay. Let's see if I can go live after you so I can finish this project. <laughs> All right, so let me finish what I was saying. So I traced that pattern onto the top of this fabric. Well, I folded it first. As you can see, I folded it, folded it. Oh, did it? Did it? And Shay's going live tonight. Is Shay still here? Um, I think she goes live tonight too. Today is Friday. Yeah. Um, so I folded it in half to have a even cut, and then I measured how long I wanted it to be. So it's like long. It's it is just as tall as me, almost, almost as tall as me. So it's going to hang like this in the closet. And it's going to have all those. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> so to speak. Um, 
So all those things, there's going to be one on this side, and then there's going to be one on this side. So I actually have to do a whole nother set of these vinyl things, but I want to get these out of the way first. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> because I need the clips. I don't have enough clips to do all of them. So, yes. So this is another part. So these... I'll get to this afterwards. This is going to be an interesting. Shay should be live around 7.30, depending on when the kids go. Oh, yeah, okay. EST. So I think that's that's um 8.30 here or 9.30 or is it 10.30? That's a lot of work. It's going to be us. Thank you. I hope it is. I have the idea is great. <laughs> now, making it real is going to be the the tricky situation. Shay is going live tonight. Okay. Yeah, I think she goes live every Friday night. I'm pretty sure she goes live every Friday night. And thank you for your word of confidence. Oh, three hours difference for you, Maria. Okay, so like 1030. Okay. Oh, that's good. So I'm going to be like a half an hour late to her show. The Shea Show. Oh, wait, I can't say that because that's a whole a whole nother Shea Show on YouTube. They're actually in Detroit. Or he's in Detroit. She's in her time. Oh, yeah, she's on the west coast of Canada. I'm sure you'll get me filming soon. <laughs> yeah, Corey. What kind of stuff do you do, Corey? <clears throat> Oh, Moose was in here earlier. John was in here earlier. Moose works. But I guess he didn't see the notification for the second time around. So where are you located, Corey? Like, what part are you on? Are you on the East Coast? Working on cutting my in-between scraps to different size squares. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, Z. You guys got me doing lives. You have bamboozled me into the live the live world. Hey, did anybody hit those thumbs up? Let me see. Did I see that one more? Oops. Oh, I got 15 likes. I can't believe it. And I can like my own too. That's awesome. Thank you, everyone. Reading layer shadow boxes. Nice. Oh, you're on the West Coast. Is is that um is that like same as California time? Corey. Do you share your stuff in, in Shay's um multimedia? In Shay's um crafting group or or on Instagram or Facebook? That's cool. My um, oh, nice, Andy. You made some shadow boxes too. That's cool. That is cool. Did you make them out of cardstock or wood or three D layered? Oh, three D layered shadow boxes. Oh, is that what cardstock or wood? Yeah. I've shared Shay's page, my most recent. Okay. Rainbow Bridge Shadow Box. Okay. I have to check it out. Did you design it or did you use, did you buy the design from like another designer? <clears throat> That's cool. I have a 3D design that I got from 
a 3D design that I got from Design Bundles. It's a a Chinese dragon, I think it is. Oh, I'm over here playing with a clip. Fidgeting. <laughs> okay. I'm looking to my right because the, the words are over there. The chat is over there. <laughs> In case you're wondering. I'm CC Rose. I've got a design, but I don't need to do it. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. See, that's what I like. I like getting designs and manipulating them so I don't have to work so hard. <laughs> that is a great idea. CC rolls. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have a TikTok too or no? So Z, he shares in Shay's page in her in uh, her her Facebook um, group. Okay, I think it's almost time for me to go now because I stick around for a few more minutes. Is everyone gone already? Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, you can see my, oh, you can see my, <laughs> no, just beginning my social media journey. This came up. It's my business name, Baby Steps. Oh, yeah, Baby Steps. <clears throat> I always jump into something like, I'm ready, like I did today with the live, and I thought I would, it was just going to be like five minutes to set it up, and I was ready to go. <laughs> Thank you. I jump into stuff, and then I fall on my face. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got this. As soon as I think I can make something, I'm like, oh, I can sell that. I can make money over that. Thank you. I feel proud of myself. I did my first YouTube live. Hi, Lulu. Oh, I still have you on the Discord. I can show you. Oh, okay. I, can show my, I can show my face so she can see me. <laughs> Going live is a side effect of Discord. You know, being in the Discord. Hi, Lulu. Hi. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so cute. Hi. <laughs> so I was watching. That's that's funny. Laura, because I was watching these, um, the guys from RDI, or if you watch the Spanish channel, they have a, a channel called Sticker Aficionado. They, um, do decals and stuff, and they were doing a live, and I'm always, like, watching their videos when they go live, and I happen to be with my mom and my stepdad, and I said hi to them, and I'm like, I'm here with my, my, my mom and my dad, and I told them their names, and I have it out had it on out loud and they were listening and so they said hi to them out loud and they're like hey that's our names i was like yeah they're saying hi to you <laughs> they're like oh hi like they could hear them <laughs> that was funny so okay um, making myself my own charm packs for clothing. That's cool, Mary. You putting them in your fancy storage boxes? The 
Oh, actually, well, all right, go on live. Yes. So I think I said it. But yeah, going on the Discord kind of prepared me for being on YouTube. I'm sorry, I want to turn the camera, but I can't because. Then. Uh, I've ripped to sell. <laughs> I'm ready to sell. I'm just busy with work, so having to go slow to set up my side hustle. It's all good, Corey. We all have to, we all should make a plan or at least try to plan something else so that way we have an idea of what we want to do. Oh, yeah, Beth, I know what you mean. I'm like, I got to brush my hair today. I'm like, I got to brush my hair <laughs> before I go on camera. <laughs> oh, I don't know if the Discord is open right now. Is it open? Nairo, are you still here? Is Nairo still here? Is it still open? Is it? Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. I don't know. There are like multiple discords. Let's not share. Let's not share the link yet. We got to figure out if it's open. <laughs> yeah, most times I'm not on camera on the discord, but sometimes every once in a while I show my face like right now. Hi. <laughs> I've got I've got Laura on the Discord. I don't know. She can't. Well, she's got me muted on there, but that's okay. Well, she's got all of us muted on there, but I can see her. She can see me because I have the camera on. And yeah, pajamas is definitely a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Nancy's funny. <laughs> Making faces at me. <laughs> All right. It's almost 8 o'clock in my time. I think it's time to go. We've had enough chittity, chittity, chattity stuff going on. Oh, here we go. I just mentioned you. Okay. Evaristo Ignac Ignacio. I was just, I was just talking about, I was just talking about your channel. Thank you for stopping by. You missed the whole thing. Well, I don't know how long you've been here, but I was just talking about you. How you greeted, you and your brothers greeted my mom and dad on your live. Just come back again, had a phone call, and then I did. So Ignacio, Evaristo Ignacio is one of the brothers from RDI and um, RDI and wait, don't say it, don't say it. <laughs> Sticker aficionado. There we go. And brother, brother hermanos, no brothers, Evaristo brothers. So Sandy, I don't know if you can share that channel. Those channels, they do decals and they do t-shirts and all kind of stuff with vinyls, different kind of vinyls, permanents, permanents, um, HTV, wait, what did Mary say? Corey, do you watch craftable things? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ignacio. Are you Nacho? I confuse all the names. <laughs> yes, Corey, look her up. She has a Discord to Evaristo. Do you have a, ch a channel? Yes, they have three channels, Nairo. They have Evaristo Brothers. They have RDI all capital letters, 
and they have um, sticker aficionados for people who speak Spanish mostly. So they, they serve the English and the Spanish community or a Spanish speaking community. But they have people from multiple countries that watch their videos. I think that's awesome. And that's how actually I got into doing my um my cupcakes, my cupcake um sign. Oh Sandy, which one is that one? Be following because it sounds familiar, but I'll check out. Check when I get to the computer. Okay. Sandy, which channel did you just share? Or whose channel was that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad you came by. All of my favorite, my favorite YouTubers are here. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Those are the two channels. Okay. And the other one is um, Sticker Aficionado. Let me see if I can find it. So, oh, who's talking? Who's talking? Hey, Robin. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Corey. Okay, that that's the channel, I think. The sticker aficionados. Oh, good night. Good night, Corinne. Um, his name is Ignacio. Um, Mary. Evaristo is his last name. Thank you, Sandy. And they also have a um a Facebook page too. Let's see if I can find that one. Their Facebook page. Oh, here it is. I don't know how to do the link. Save link. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Corey Rose, I posted. Okay. All right. So, wait, let me see if I spelled it right. Aficionado. Aficionado. This is the group name, the Facebook group name. All right, everybody. Um, I, I can't figure out how to do the the link to the to the Facebook page, but thank you, everyone, for stopping by. Maybe we can do this again tomorrow for the sewing part. I appreciate all your kind words and your visits and sharing all the stuff and the conversation and everything. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.